What was the result of the latest scan? Super mutant activity in DC is high, but nothing out of the ordinary. The area around Galaxy News Radio is... What I wouldn't do to get my hands on one of those enclave vertebrates. What aid can I offer you up? You've seen them, so you know what we know. What more is there to say? If we can figure out where they're coming from, we might be able to stop them. If not... In my father's name, I bid you farewell. Hail. You and that egghead Lee made it here in one piece. I heard what happened to that purifier. Hell of a thing. You figure out his name yet? <laughs> Brotherhood is at your service. Hail. Scribe Rothschild wanted those AMS tests done right away, so I went ahead and handled it for you. All this time spent. technology and we look like cavemen next to the enclave. That is not acceptable. Welcome. What aid can I offer you, outsider?
honor us with your presence here. Need something, friend? The Brotherhood is at your service. Henry's been working on some new power armor mods. Can't hurt. What aid can I offer you? What do you need? You could say that. We have an old robo-doc. He's a bit creepy, but he does the job. You'll find him in B-Ring. Well, any one of us would see Night Captain Durga down in the lab, but since you're an outsider, you'll need permission from Elder... You are currently in A-Ring. Here you will find the Great Hall, the Lion's Den, and the Archives. Beyond this area is B-Ring, quarters for the Knights, Scribes, and Elder Lions. Outside in the Bailey are the training areas and access to the Initiates Barracks. Other than that, down those steps is the lab. Be careful around there, the Scribes are touchy about who goes near their toy. Certainly. As if we didn't have enough to worry about. Their weapons are better. Their power armor is better. Is their training better? We'll see. Hail. You honor us with your presence. How may I serve you? Oh, yes, I can. In fact, I suspect I could write several texts on the various details of the Brotherhood. But I suspect you're in a hurry. I like to think that I've still got some big achievements left in me, although some of my joints seem to disagree these days. I'll tell you what the lowlights of my time have been, though. Every time I've been shot at. I'm a scribe, not a soldier. It seems like whichever challenge we're facing is always the biggest one. Survival at first, then expansion, and now cohesion. We've seen plenty of wasteland freaks or would-be dictators. They're not too bad. At least we've faced that sort of thing before. But more recent events, like the schism with the outcasts, those are the problems that worry me. I'm afraid the answer to that is a lot more nuanced than others might suggest. Brotherhood members are sworn to acquire and protect technology of the past, but not everyone interprets these oaths in the same way. Elder Lyons sees these duties as part of a larger dedication to protect the innocent. Some, like the outcasts, disagree with these priorities. Okay. Anything else? Back. something, friend? Figure out what to do next. Yeah? And I have work to do. The Enclave seems to have developed advanced plasma-based weaponry. I need to analyze our power armor.
not normally something that we do. Trade with outsiders has proven to be problematic in the past. However, considering the circumstances, so be it. I'll send word to Durga that you have full access to trade. Under the circumstances, I will allow Paladin Gunne to trade. You'll find him in the Balin. Steel be with you. Hail. Hail. Greetings. May we speak again soon. can I offer you? I'm sure Gunny could train you, but he won't. Not without permission from Elder Lyons. You should ask him. 
He's usually near the left. Honor us with your presence here. Hail. Initiate, you've got a lot of nerve to interrupt. Oh, my apologies, stranger. I thought you were one of these worthless initiates. I swear these kids would be lost without me here to powder their asses. Heard you were coming. Yeah, I can train you, but don't ask me to like it. My initiates sweat blood, and you just get a free pass? Anyway, you ready for this? Now look, to wear power armor, first thing you need to do is relax your muscles. Let the suit do the work, okay? Now you. Well, what's your tactical appraisal of our situation? What aid can I offer you outside? I am charged with the duty of turning these maggots into brothers of steel. With the threat of the Enclave, they're likely going to be pressed into service before they've taken the oath. So I've got a lot of work to do. Killing unarmed civilians makes me sick. Come over here. Try fighting someone who shoots back, fucking cowards. Why do you think I ride these initiates so hard? I make training hell, so fighting those uglies won't be. Damn initiates. Welcome. I received word from Elder Lyons. He says that you have permission to trade with us. Good for you. Sure, just be quick about it.
Thanks. Of course. Quartermaster here. What do you need? Here. You've done so much for us. I want you to have this. It's all I have to offer you. Bless you. You again. State. Of course.
I wouldn't do to get my hands on one of those enclave birds. I'm sorry, but I really don't have the time to talk right now. Perhaps I'm sorry. The enclave seems to have developed advanced. What do you want outside of it? Plasma based weapon. with that old terminal. Ah, well, that much I believe I can help with. Step over here for a moment. I'll show you where it is. Hail. This map shows the locations of all known vaults in the local area. Vault 87 has been highlighted for you. There. Entrance to Vault 87 will be particularly difficult for you, I'm afraid. The area is highly irradiated. Lethal levels are all around the entrance. Gaining direct access will be quite impossible. Quite simply, you don't. To attempt such a thing would be certain death for you. You share your father's determination, it seems. And in this case, you are correct. There may well be another way. Vault 87 is located very close to the site of Lamplight Caverns. It is entirely probable that the vault may be entered from within the caves. The Brotherhood simply cannot spare the resources necessary to investigate the area. Perhaps you may be more successful. If you do find anything, please return here so that we may decide how best to proceed. I wish we could do more, but the Brotherhood potentially faces a very pressing, very real threat in the Enclave. All of my efforts must now be devoted to assessing the threat they may pose to us. I'm sure you understand. All right. Thanks for the information. The Brotherhood is at your service. You honor us with your presence here. Hail! Yes? Ah, yes. Everyone asks about the robot. Hard not to, I admit. His name is Liberty Prime, very patriotic, built by a very proud nation during a very desperate time. We've had about as much success getting him working as they did. You should speak with Scribe Rothschild, he can tell you more. Steel be with you. Hey, hey buddy. Hi. Yeah, so listen, thanks. Really great job you did there. Hey there. And I have worked. Yes? What is it? I am, and have been since we first found him, well over twenty years ago. Liberty Prime is the designation we found on file for him. Magnificent, don't you think? At least he will be once all systems are operational. It's the energy consumption. Something that big with such advanced weapon systems, uh, we just don't have the means to power it. 
Not yet. He was developed as a super weapon back in the days before the war. The first joint operation between Robco and General Atomics International. Apparently, he was meant to help liberate Alaska from the Chinese, but was never completed. They were forced to go in without him. They won, but suffered heavy losses. If we can get him up and running well, I think you get the idea. And so you go. Welcome home, sir.
but the outcasts have stolen a great deal of our uncatalogued equipment. I am beginning to run short of supplies for repairs. Then make do with what you have. We may lack the unclaimed resources. Good evening. What? And perhaps I would, in James's honor. But perhaps... Stay... Hail. Hail. The Brotherhood is at your service. What makes you think we've got something to say to one another? Scanning! Hey there. You stole what was rightfully mine. Get lost. Just try not to kill anyone while you're here. It's good to see you alive and well, sir.
My name is Carrie Delaney. I teach fourth grade at the Early Dawn Elementary School in Washington, D.C. Yesterday, October 23rd, 2077, half the school went on a field trip to Lamplight Caverns. We were packing up to leave when... when everything went crazy. The cave started shaking, the lights went out, the kids started screaming, my god! Mr. Pollock went outside to see what was going on. When he came back in, he told us what he saw. Clouds. Mushroom clouds. It's finally happened. The end of the world. We're all okay, if you can call being stuck in a cave with 82 terrified kids okay. Alive, anyway. I don't know what the hell we're going to do. It's been four days. Claudia went out this morning to look around and never came back. Then Mr. Cobb went out to look for her and he never came back. So now there's only me two other teachers, two of the parents who were chaperoning, and a few of the cavern staff. And all these poor kids. We've got enough food and water to last for a while, I guess. But after that, I just don't know. We can't stay in here forever. Can we? Here I sit in the safety of the Citadel, while the people of the Wasteland thirst and suffer and die. Here I sit a failed, feeble old man. What have I really accomplished? How many have I truly helped? The super mutants still roam rampant, the people still die of thirst and radiation. The Western Elders cease to acknowledge my existence. Some of my own people have even gone outcast. And now the Enclave, technologically superior, infinitely resourceful. The time has come to pass the mantle to more able hands. But is she ready? Even in Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. Watch it! I've heard of you! You're one of the good. So, a long time ago, Princess convinced everyone that she should be mayor. The first thing she did as mayor was try to insist the title be changed to Princess. It was five minutes before McCready punched her in the nose and got picked as the new mayor. It was awesome! Yeah, McCready said we needed someone to watch out for us, not to lord over us. Then he popped her one. She hasn't even tried since then. That's why he stays mayor, too. I hope I can be that cool someday. No way! I think she's got a crush on him. She's all weird for him. Thanks. Maybe you can take her down a peg, huh? We don't go there. It's bad back there. Ask Mayor if you really want to know. 
Waiter. Whoa! You're big! You must be the biggest kid here! I'm the littlest kid. My real name's Betty, but mostly I get called Bumble. What do you call big kid? It's nice to meet you too. Did you come from the vault? I heard there's monsters down there. Eclair told me once, one of them, they got him and bit him right in the face and that's why he's only got one eye. But you don't look like a monster and I don't think you'd bite anyone in the face. You look like a nice vault dweller. It's just a name, okay? Not my fault I knocked stuff over. Lucy says, I still got a lot of growing to do. Bye-bye, Vault Dweller. Thanks for getting Penny and Squirrel back. And Sammy too, I guess. Got something to say? What? You're new, and you're too big to be a resident. Who are you? You brought back Penny and Sammy and Squirrel? Well, I guess that does make you a pretty big hero. Thanks. I'm Lucy, and I'm pretty much the mom around here. And that means I spend a lot of time kissing boo-boos and making things all better. So if you ever get any scrapes or bruises, or if you get shot, stabbed, or radiated, Stop by, and I'll do what I can, big hero. Excellent. I should be able to synthesize the proteins from this into something that'll fight rickets. Here's your fungus in return. Excellent. 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 There's always one big sister or another who knows her way around a compress and a sewing needle. So we take care of most of the little scrapes. And way back when, someone figured out that some of the plants and fungus around here absorb radiation. The little ones don't like to eat their veggies, but they don't like to be sick either. So we get by. Well, we all know the basics. Combat first aid, you know? But I've got the most experience at the tough stuff. Bumble's been learning the most about the more complex parts of cutting and sewing. People tease her, but she's got a steady hand. Of course, now she just needs to learn what you do and don't cut. It is, especially for dealing with the low-level radiation we all get from the water. The fungus just soaks it right up. But it doesn't help the rickets that keep hitting the younger lamplighters. Believe it or not, I can make a treatment for that from extract of buff out. Actually... If you can talk McCready into it, I'd be glad to trade some fungus for buff out, but he'd have to say it was okay. Well, until you come asking for a bandage, at least. Later. How do I have to solve your bullshit problem today? It's not safe, even for someone as brave as you. There's monsters back there. The big ones. You know, the ones that sort of look like people, except they're all wrong. Yeah, I do. It's through Murder Pass. Not a real safe way to go, but it's the only door that works. It's the only way that works, yeah. The other door hasn't worked since before I was here. Computer's busted and not even Joseph can make it work. I'm the mayor, not a babysitter, Mungo. Beats me. Maybe he's back there by the door. Fuck if I know. You sure about that? It's scary in there. Even I don't like going in there, and I'm really brave. Okay, don't worry. I won't tell anyone else you chickened out. Yeah, that's... Excuse me. Hey, what's up? Hey! Keeping everyone from How do, pal? Same as We're in the best fucking okay. place in the Bye. world!
Hey, what's up? You're my hero, mister. I want to be just like you when I grow up. Nuh-uh. Door works fine. Computer's broke. Well, maybe not broke, but it sure don't work right. I turned it off because it was just wasting power. Nope. Nobody ever wrote it down. And then one day, somebody forgot. You know how it goes. Sure, if you want. Come on, it's over here! Okay, there you go. The computer- Well, back at the start, all the children had were the notes from the grown-ups that hadn't left yet, and a few books on caves from the store. But after finding the vault, a few scavengers brought back holotapes for basic schooling, reading, basic math, encyclopedias, that sort of thing. We don't get many books anymore from the scav team, but I make sure to keep my own notes on the computer for whoever takes over after I leave. Mostly, whatever they want to learn. We don't have strict classes or anything down here. But it does mean they're interested in what I'm teaching. But everyone learns the basics of fighting and shooting and survival. We've all got obvious reasons to be interested in that. We entered all of the books and holotapes into the computer. But frankly, there are a lot of important subjects the Volt's material didn't cover. I could wish for more, but we're probably still the best school in the wasteland. Maybe the only school in the wasteland, really. Glad I could help. Later.
try and hide from this! Try and hide from this! Just oh. 